What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Unfortunately, guys, I don't have any kids. I have not really been clapping those kind of cheeks to get those children. But within the next two or three years, I think I'll go ahead on and make my run. Start populating the black community. But right now, I don't need to do so because we got Iman Schumpert. Other people willing to do that with me, especially with interesting ladies like Tiana Taylor. Now, let me just say this. Um, they made a very unorthodox couple. I thought them as a couple it was a very interesting one. Um, he's exceptionally hood fabulous. She's even more hood fabulous than him. Um, and a little bit of a fun person. I believe she's bisexual and all this. So, I mean, I've heard some rumors about possible threesomes going on. I'm not sure. Or I'm not sure what's going on. I wasn't there. But they seem to be very close. Seem to be very close. Great celebrity relationship. You know, until it wasn't. All right. And just until it wasn't. And things happen in life. Okay. So she went from saying that he was her best friend to, oh, she was really out there uh, putting the brother's business out there. I mean, she was assault. She was really insulting the guy. He's jealous. He's controlling. He does this. He does that. Typical stuff, right? You know, obviously things she quote unquote didn't want to come out that ended up coming out. So again, you know, her fan base turned on him, which is what you always see. They love you while y'all together. And then when you don't stay together anymore, they, they all hate on you. Same thing with Megan Good and Devon Franklin. Okay, we saw that. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. But when it came to that, they just was hating on the guy. X, Y, and Z. So he's paying $8,000 a month in child support. Okay. Now he's getting revenge. He's like, you know what? All that trash you talked about me. All those things you said about me in the media. You know what? We need to go ahead and look at this and see what's going on. He says, judge, actually, I make $48,000 a month before taxes while Tiana makes $100,000 a month before taxes. I'm paying $8,000 in child support a month, but now I want her to share the health of health services for their children outside of major medical expenses, okay? She's also said that the man ignores their children's safety, doesn't feed them properly. He's a disregard for the safety of the minor children, also treating her cruelly and displaying extreme narcissistic behavior throughout the majority of the marriage extremely emotional and mentally abusive towards her cruel treatment and selfishness this is what she says about the guy could be true i'm not sure men are not perfect okay so once you say that he's your best friend and you put this out there want to know what i would do the same goddamn thing he's doing let's go to court you're gonna insult me like that you're gonna put me out there like that oh no pay for it all then oh oh i know no no those are my kids too but since you want to put me out there like that yeah, but you're going you gonna to use your money. Because, you know, back in the day, a lot of dudes in the black community used to just take it laying down like that. You know, brothers would just be like, oh, OK, you know, yeah, my wife is out there doing that. But you know what? I'm just going to go ahead on and pay it. And what, what would you what would you find out? What would we find out? I'll tell you what, what you'd find out. You'd find out that, man, your ex-wife is dealing with another person. In the case of Tiana Taylor, could be male or female. People that can't even do anything for the kids. The next guy she's dealing with in love with is around those kids every day doing nothing. I know what you're gonna say. Well, that's not their problem because, hey, you know, this, these are your kids. Fine, okay, I get that. But now, since you put that out there on me, no, we're gonna be more 50-50 than you think because you will not insult me. You will not and disrespect me like that, put me all the way out there and think I'm gonna be okay with it. Absolutely not, hell no. And more guys need to do just that. If they wanna, you know, try to, you know, uh, uh, say those things about you. Since they want to play those little games, take them to court. Take them to court. Not now, but right now. Take them to court all the time, okay? You want to put people's business out there? And the thing about it is, this guy never does that. You know, why is it every time that these men have a divorce, you know, even Tia Maori, uh, it's always degrading these men. These men never can talk for themselves. They never have the ability to say how they feel or what happened on their end or anything. Never, they never say it. Just, you know, X, Y, and Z happened. All of that happened. 
you know, it, it is what it is. And, and, they, and, they, and they never tell their side of the story. No, man, men are tired of that. We, we're in a society where equality is what it is, and judges are looking at women as equality. But hey, let's do it like that. Since that's how y'all take it, this is what y'all want. I hate to see the kids go through that. But you know what? Hey, let, let's do it. One thing I can guarantee you is that when more men start doing that, this, this kind of behavior is going to stop. It will stop. Less of it will not happen anymore. And it, you know, and like I said, guys, stop marrying chicks, man, that, that you know that don't have no respect for me. Brothers got to start being smart too, okay? You got to look at the idea that a lot of these women are not going to want to be married in the way that you would like them to be. Stop trying to change somebody, bro, okay? A lot of black men got to stop doing that. You guys got to stop trying to change people. You're not going to ever have success trying to do so. A lot of these people are who they are before you meet them. Unfortunately, they're going to stay who they are. It's not going to change anytime soon. You can want it to change. You can want to try to make it change. You can beg the Lord to help it change. It is not going to change. Let me tell you again. It is not going to change. They are not going to change. All right. If they're a city girl, when you meet them, they dress provocative. When you meet them, they love TikTok or whatever. When they meet them, whatever you don't like and they like it when you meet them, they're not going to stop being them. Leave them alone. You're like a general manager of a franchise. You want the people that fit best, best into your work culture, into your team mantra, into your team credo. You got to know who, who, those things as a man before you start. If you don't know those things, you're going to have problems. If you don't know it. Okay. If you don't know it, you're going to have issues. You're going to, you're, you're, you're going to have a rough time in the world, man, if you don't get it. So you need to get that. You need to get it. And once you get it, you will understand it. Once you get it, you will understand it and you will appreciate it more, more. Leave them alone. Okay. Look at Papoose. Papoose is out here dealing with something that's so dusty that he should never deal. Leave them alone. God damn it. Just stop. So guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard, you follow you. Just the bell. We're out.